Hello everybody, what a beautiful day we are having so far in Northeast Ohio. It is a sunny fall day and Lee and I are headed out to try um, a brand new ice cream parlor called Pav's Ice Cream. It was um, something that we saw when we took our um, scavenger hunt date and it was something that we both had wanted to come back and revisit so today that's where we're headed to go check that out and see how that is um, and let you guys see what uh, Pav's ice cream is all about plus we wanted to take um, this day this sunny nice fall day to um, walk by the river again and to hopefully see um, the trees in the full bloom of their color um, so that is what we are going to do head out and do today together. Um, but I forgot to show you guys when I went and picked up my pumpkin, my finished pumpkin from Ohio City Glass. So I'm going to insert that video right now so you can see how beautiful my pumpkin turned out to be. I was very, very pleased with the outcome of it. I'll insert that right now and then we'll head to payoffs. See you in a little bit. Today I'm going to pick up my pumpkin from Ohio City Glass and see how it turned out. I'm super excited. Yay, I got my pumpkin. I just walked in, found my name, grabbed my pumpkin, and left. And I will show you guys what it looks like as soon as I get home because I'm driving and I shouldn't be videotaping while I'm driving. So, see you when we get home. Alright, let's see what my pumpkin turned out like. Oh, look. Oh, you didn't get to see it yet? No, it's the first time I'm seeing it. It's so pretty. Look at my pumpkin. <laughs> I love it. offers adult milkshakes which include um, alcohol like bourbon or whiskey. They also offer traditional milkshakes and different kinds of sundaes. They also have their classic creations on there like a pineapple upside down sundae which sounds amazing and they have hot dogs here as well. They have coffee infused shakes and here are the flavors of their hard ice cream but they also have custard and sorbet and they even have vegan options and gluten-free as well. Uh, here's the price for the scoops and the flavor of the week, cookies and scream. They also have a grab and go station where you can pick up some cookie sandwiches or some brookie ice cream sandwiches, which look absolutely outstanding out of this world, amazing. And they have pints of ice cream that you could take to go as well. Okay, we got the coffee plate. This is the cookies and cream, cookies and cream, mm -hmm. banana cream pie, the num nuts, and the blueberry cheesecake. And it is amazing looking. They're all really good, but the um, cookies and cream, it's really, it's cookies and cream. That's what it is, delicious. The ice cream here is delicious. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's very yummy. Um, my favorite out of all of these is the banana cream pie. It is unreal. And I'm telling Lee not to eat any more of it because that's the one I want. The Num Nuts, it's like, um, it had like bourbon, but it basically just tastes like peanut butter ice cream to me. And not my favorite, so Lee's gonna eat that one. And then um, the blueberry cheesecake is exactly what it sounds like, blueberry cheesecake, and it's, delicious. It's blueberry ice cream with huge chunks of cheesecake. Well, <laughs> I think we like the ice cream. It was so good. It was delicious ice cream. Lee's favorite was the Num Nuts. Um, mine, as I said, was the banana cream pie, but it was all delicious. And I, I can't wait to bring Lainey back and try a different plate of four different flavors. So 
she'll love it in here, I'm sure. Uh, now we're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna go back down by the river and hopefully get some good shots of um, the trees down there. Well, look at this paddle park coming to Cuyahoga Falls. How neat. tip over. Um, so kudos to them. I think they might be training for something. It looks like they're, they're learning how to use the kayak, learning how to do the rapids. Um, they must be training to do something would be my guess. That's awesome. <laughs> how fun for them, not me, for them. Yeah, it looks like he's learning, he knows how to like do the rapids so. well. Wow. This over here is the Yeti restaurant. And this would be awesome to eat at in the weather tonight. Right over the river right here. And look, here come the kayakers that we saw earlier. that little store is over there. Idea. It looks like it's like old like 50 relics and stuff. I see bikes and like that gasoline thing. Cars looks, inside. There's cars over there. I would love to really like see what that is but I don't think it's open. Okay so on the window it says it is Clifford's Mini Antique Car Museum. That's what that is. A cute little dog bakery here, Morty's Munchies. It's adorable. How cute. What is the works? It's got like, like pinball machines and arcade games and stuff in there. Interesting. Oh, well, look at this. Hi. So that is what we're looking at. It's all connected. They let us walk around the works to check it out, and I'm happy they did. Um, you can get, order food and order drinks in here. Um, there's plenty of tables and chairs down by the stage area. Um, they have modern day VR that you could try out, but they also have the classics like ski ball in here, which is great. That was the work, so it reminds me of like Kalahari's Arcade or like a Scene 75 but not quite as big. You can order food, you can order drinks in there. They had like a virtual reality, they had indoor bowling, they had Mario, and they also had Pac-Man. It was tempting not to stay and play, but we're going to check out what other stores were on uh, this little strip right here. So Ohio Brewing Restaurant is right over there, but this is the one that we saw the last time that looked really um, beautiful to me. Leo's Italian Social. And I thought it overlooked the river, but I don't think it does. I think it's just really gorgeous out here on a warm evening. They have all this lit up and stuff over here. It looked absolutely gorgeous. But there's stairs. So maybe we'll walk down and see where those lead. We just pointed out he thinks like they probably play bocce ball here when the weather's warm, which is really nice. And um, the stairs just lead down to like parking down here, but there are lights down here in another restaurant that does overlook the river. Let's go see what this one is. Okay, well, there is like a dining that I see, but I'm not sure if it's a restaurant or not because the sign says community caregivers over the top of it. So 
Yes, it is. It is a restaurant after all. It's Burntwood Tavern and it looks gorgeous. I'm actually gonna walk by and see if I can see. I don't see a menu or anything out here to show you guys, but this is where you would sit up here and the river is right down there. There it is right there. There's also other restaurants that maybe don't overlook the river, but are just as beautiful like that one right there. We're gonna walk in front and see what the name of that one is too. My goodness, this is gorgeous. I would love to see this at night. All lit up. It's beautiful. This is a really nice area over here. They have lots and lots of places to eat. I would love to come back and eat dinner in one of these restaurants and then go play indoor bowling at the works. Okay. Here we are. And this is Cashmere Cricket. No. My bad. It's the kitchen on Front Street. That's that restaurant. Yes, it's a restaurant. Yeah. Let's see. There are the hours. Barrow Maria. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's Barrow. Barrow de Dean Maria or something like that. Mario. Mario. I think they have some fun going on in there. Live music. Ooh, that would be fun. Be very fun if I could say the name. There is the Metropolis Gourmet Popcorn Shop. And it looks very tiny in there, but it looks like there's lots of flavors of popcorn. There's flavors. Oh, there they are. Here are all the flavors of the popcorn in the shop. How fun is that? Okay, let's go check out the candy store. I think it's called Grandpa's? Grandpa something. Grandpa Joe's. Grandpa Joe's. Let's check out Grandpa Joe's. Here's the hours for Grandpa Joe's too. Oh my gosh, hello! Wow, there's candy everywhere right here. Whoa. It's awesome. It's like a novelty store too. Look, they have Care Bears. I just love them. Lots of Pez. And Bob Bronx. No novelty store is complete without Bob Ross. Am I right? <laughs> they have new kids on the block playing in here. Their music. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all of the sodas. Wow. They do have a, have a huge uh, bag of Zots. I can't believe they have them here. It's one of my favorites. I don't know if you guys remember these. The candy buttons. Or these. The wax bottles and these ring pops were like one of my favorite things when I was little and I used to love these too. They're like huge smarty suckers that I would never ever eat today but they have them here. Wax lips. Oh my gosh. We used to do wax up and oh bubblegum. Bubblegum candy cigarettes were the best because you could like blow the smoke out of it and you thought you were cool. That was before I knew that smoking caused cancer. That was also before I actually like my gum to be soft. <gasps> they have a skeleton Jenga with bones. And they have a Halloween party mad lives. Oh my gosh. It is heading into November now and we are heading to uh, part of the season where we like to hunker down 
in the house where it's warm and it's dry. So I am going to just let you guys know now that if I'm not putting out as many videos as you're used to seeing from me, that is why. But if I go somewhere that is worthwhile videoing and showing you guys, if I think it's somewhere that you are going to want to go with your family um, in the colder months of Northeast Ohio weather coming up here, then I will video it and get it out to you and uh, make sure to show you guys what that is all about. So see you guys on our next adventure. Take care. Bye.